welcome back friends welcome to another tutorial from Shomu's biology and in this video tutorial we'll be talking about the reasoning and the reasoning skills and among the reasoning skills this video about the number series problems and how to figure out number series problems you know number series problems and alphabet series problems are mostly like uh, the idea that you need to figure out by cracking the code or how the numbers are represented sequentially now the number series problems can be given like they will give you three or four numbers and the fifth one they'll give a gap so you need to find out according to the pattern of numbers represented what is the fifth one or sometimes they will give you four or five different numbers from them there is someone odd so that's called odd man out series so you need to find that odd one and out it and get it out from the number series these are the way that it is represented. So let's look at it. There's nothing much to think of, but it entirely depends on the practice of how fast you can crack the pattern. But here I will tell you some tips that can help you to get the idea about how the number series are constructed. Because you need to find out how exactly the number series is constructed so that you can find the pattern and you can easily crack it and answer the question. So mainly when the number is formed, they, they are based on few things. First is they can be simple addition or deletion between the numbers. What do you mean by all these things you will understand in a few moments. Second thing they can be prime number series. So let's say a stretch of prime numbers. So the next one will also be a prime numbers. The third one, it can be square or cube series. Square or cube series can also be present. So let's say 4, 9, 16. So it's a square series, right? Square of 2, square of 3, square of 4. It goes like that. Or they can be any other miscellaneous series that are linked uh, we'll talk about that which can be like growing or shrinking numbers that means the number we are looking at from low to high or sometimes can be high to low so you need to just look an overview of the number and then also you need to think of what exactly they meant the fifth kind also be like algebraic series in some cases addition deletion both of the things can be there a specific formula between each of those numbers that you need to find out and normally the formulas are algebraic equations that are linked with the numbers to make it a little more complicated so here we will see these things because mostly this number series is a problem that you will definitely get in a question paper so whether the question paper is ibpspo any other bank exams rail SSC, PSC, CSIR, UGC, NET, any other exam is there with this arithmetic aptitude and reasoning portion, they will ask at least one of these number series questions. And another very important idea to understand number series question is that understanding number series question will also help you to understand alphabet series. Because whatever thing we learned in the number series will apply that same knowledge in the alphabet series by adding a few little changes we will see that in the next video but let's start solving few number series questions here i'll give you few questions and to talk about the questions and you know this number series question are sometimes very easy to solve even while i am writing it in the board you may be able to crack it it's very easy so let's start with the easy examples let's say we start with 5 6 10 19 35 and then what will be the fifth one so this is the first one so how to solve this what we are seeing here it's simply if you look at here 5 here we go plus 1 we get 6 then we get plus 4 we get 10 then we get 9 plus 9 so 10 plus 9 we get 19 and how much here 16 plus 19 we get 35 so if you look this series starts from 5 then you take 5 plus 1 square and you get 6 
this one. Then you take the 6, instead of 1, you make 2 square, you get 4 plus 6, 10. Then you take this 10 plus 3 square will be now, because we are increasing 1, 2, 3, 4 like that, it will be 19. And then after 3 it will be 4 square, 16 plus 19, 35. Take 35 plus, now it will be 5 square. 25 plus 35, so it will be 60. So the answer here will be 60 in this end. Okay. So you see, this is a this is belong to this square or cube series. But you know, square series does not always mean there will be 2, 4, 9, 16 like that. They will be very easy to crack. So they can add them by square plus addition. Because I mentioned you earlier that there can be addition and deletion series, square cube series, prime series, and algebraic series, growing shrinking series. And many of the cases they will tag two or three of this together. In this problem, they tag this addition along with square to make a problem a little complicated. But it's not that complicated as well. Now let's move to the next one and solve the next one. Now the idea is the more you solve these questions, the better you will get to answer these questions in the exams. Now let us say this one, 5, 7, 10, 15, 22. This is another very easy one to solve. Again if you look, it is growing. So definitely growing means addition. So 5 plus 2 added gives us 7. 7 add plus 3 gives us 10, 10 plus 5 gives us 15, 15 plus 7 gives us 22. So we are increasing like 2, 3, 5, 7, okay. So till now what do you see, plus 2, plus 3, plus 5, plus 7. So what can be in your mind that what we are going here from 3 plus 2 we get 5, plus 5 plus 2 we get 7. So we are adding 2. So why not add 2 here with plus 7 get plus 9, you may think that, but actually this will be a wrong representation and wrong idea, because then what about the first one, because it is only added 1, then we add 2. So the idea that you are developing should be from the beginning of the series till the end. So you cannot think of whatever thing is in the middle. So plus 2 addition is not justifying 5 to 7, this change. The change from 7 to 10, this plus 1 change. So you cannot do that. So that is wrong. This interpretation is wrong. But now if you look 2, 3, 5, 7, what are these? These are prime numbers. So what is the next prime number after 7? Which is not dividable by any other number rather than that number or 1. So in this case, it will be 11 because 9 can be divided by 3, right? So after 7, the prime number is 11. So this is a prime number series. So if you add 11 to 22, it gives us 33. And that will be the answer because that is the next gap that was provided in the question. Get the idea? So you know number series questions, though it is easy to solve, but sometimes misguide you. Do not be misguided. Whatever idea you form, whatever pattern you form and think, should be applied from the start till the end. Okay. Now let us go to the next one. And let us say this is 11, 12, 13, 17, 19, 23. If you look at this series, what will be the next? Again, if you look 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, all are prime numbers, not cannot be divided by any other number except for them and 1. So in this case, after 23, if you think 25 can be divided by 5, so it is 27 that is the next prime number and that is no, 27 is not also a prime number because 27 can also be divided by 3. So what is next? 29. Now think of 29, cannot be divided by any other there uh, rather than 29 here. So 29 is the next prime number after 23, so the answer will be 29. 
So sometimes, you know, in some people we know that they, whenever they see any number series, they start calculating, let's say 11 to 13 plus 2, 13 to 17 plus 4, 17 to 19, again plus 2, 19 to 13 plus 4. So what we're thinking, 2, 4, 2, 4. Now you may think like 2, 4, 2, 4. So let's say 23. So after that, 4 will be 2. So plus 2, 25. You may think that. But this is a wrong interpretation. Because the idea with which this series is provided is based on the prime number. So the 23 is the la previous. So the next after 23 will be 29, not 25 or not even 27 remember that it's very very important because as i told you there's a chance of misguidance okay don't be misguided there now let's solve another one let's erase this one and solve this one 6 13 27 55 111 this one. What about this one? So you see 6, 13, 27, 55, triple 1. It's again increasing. So definitely something addition or multiplication is there. But in this case, you see the increment is very huge. So we can say like it's increasing in even increasing order, right? So 6 to 13, so small increase. 13 to 27, little large. 27 to 55, little large. 55 to 111, huge. So you can sense it. 6 to 13, it's almost double plus 1. 13 to 27, 13 into 2, 26 plus 1. So kind of we are sensing where we are going. 6 into 2 gives us 12, plus 1 gives us 13. This is the 13. Let me take another color. Then we go here, 13 into 2 should be 26 plus we get 1, 27. This one. Then we have 27 into 2, 54 plus 1, 55, this one. And then 55 into 2, 110 plus 1, 111. So now we easily represent. So now when you can, when you can easily represent all the numbers of the series, that means you know the series, you crack the series. So do the same thing to the last because that's the question. So we do 111 into 2 plus 1. What will be the value? 223. That will be the answer. 223. Got it? So think of the way the series is provided. Now, the last one. Let's do it here. It start with 13, 14, 18, 27, 43 and then what is there? So again think of this how it goes. 13, 14, 18, 27, 43. So again we are increasing. Okay. Slowly increasing. So we have 13, we get plus 1, we get 14. 14 plus 18, we get plus 4, we get 18. From 18 to 29, we get 9. From 27 to 43, if you do the subtraction, it will give us 16. So now, see the link. 1, 4, 9, 16. We can again break them down. 1 square, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16. So we are going 1, 2, 3, 4. It is a square series. So here after that will be 5 square. So 25 will be added with 43 and that will give us 68 right so 68 will be the answer so you see these are the ways that you can crack the number series whatever thing that is provided there okay and one final one before closing this because you know in number series there is no limit the more you practice, the better it gets. It starts with 3, then 6, then 18, then 90, then 630. So this is again another type of situation. Here we go. 
increment again we are increasing 3 to 630 in 5 different numbers 3 to 6 little increment 6 to 18 much bigger 18 to 90 even much bigger 19 to 63 even much bigger so if you have this very huge increments the main reasons for these increments is multiplication normally addition does not have these huge differences or addition in square or cube or multiplication so if you have these huge increments either due to addition with square or multiplication so in this case what is the idea so let's say 3 if you multiply 3 with 2 gives us 6 if you take 6 multiply with 3 gives us 18 and if you take 18 multiply with 4 2 3 4 that's how we are going but it's not giving us 90 is it giving no so this is not the way of thinking now what way we can think we thought that we are going 2 2 3 1 increment 3 2 4 1 increment but um, that's not the case now 18 if we divide 90 with 18 it's 5 right so according to the idea it should be 5 then we get 90 then whatever thing so if you divide 630 by 90 what we get here 7 So what we are going here? So we are doing multiplication but not by adding. No, we are not increasing like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, not like that. 2, 3, 5, 7. What is the series? 2, 3, 5, 7. This is prime number series. So we are going multiplication but with prime numbers. Now we crack the code. So the prime number after 7 is 11. So you multiply 630 with 11, then 6930. That is going to be the answer. 6930. Because that's how you crack the code. So you know, once you start thinking in a way, but you can't find your way at the end by same thinking, stop there. And applying this knowledge, because what we did here, we start thinking that it's added one by one. But now, at this point, we we'll figure out, no, it's not addition. So what we do is simply divide them and get the values, the other series. In most of the questions, the series that you will see, it's not the way to crack. But the other series that you will construct based on that values is the one which will help you to crack, which is the second one. Remember, every single questions of this number, and number series we made another series by either addition we haven't done anything with deletion but we do addition multiplication square cube uh, prime numbers we make another series with which we can get to the idea so you simply think of what is the value with which the series is increasing or decreasing that will definitely help you to answer the question so if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that. Thank you.